They know the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. And now they will come with the mentality, I know. The spirit of religion is brother mm -hmm. It is so conceited and it's so boastful and pride. There's too much pride in it. And that's why you find the reason why some folks don't want to go to church anymore is because there is too much of quoting scriptures and no evidence of the revelation of the scripture. Abdul, Ka Abdul Karim. Your brother in, uh, in Islam. I break every spirit of witchcraft in the mighty name of Jesus. What does Yakubian? Do you know anyone? Pastor's last name is Yakubian. Yakubian. Uh, your brother was commit suicide. Yes. Your brother yes. wants to commit suicide. Suicide. Yes. This is God. This is not man's work. I might not look like a pastor because I'm not a pastor. Praise God. Amen. I am a prophet. Hallelujah. The next uh, chapter is the voice of uh, the voice of religious spirits. Are we together? We are. Amen. Yes. Amen. I, I love teaching the word. Yes, it's good. Today I'm in the spirit of teaching. Thank you. Have your way. Tell me about the voice of religious spirits. The voice of religious spirits. Say the voice of religious spirits. The voice of religious spirits. Very nice. Amen. Amen. Matthew 12, the book of Matthew. Turn to the book of Matthew. Matthew um, 12, 25 to 26. Okay, praise God. He says, But Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself will not stand. Verse 26. If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? How then will his kingdom stand? Stand. How then will his kingdom stand? Now, the Pharisees and some of the Sadducees got vexed when they saw Jesus casting out demons. And there's a point of time they questioned his authority. They wanted to know, in whose authority are you functioning? What's the audacity do you have to whip people in the temple like that? In whose authority? They wanted to know, who is this man? Is he greater than Abraham? Is he greater than Moses? Who is this man? Religious spirits are critical. Religious spirits can also talk. During the worship of Baal, Jezebel had her prophet, prophets who were like 400 prophets. She had a prophets, say Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. And these prophets were religious. They followed her everywhere, what she said. But now, what I want to talk about is Religious spirits and the voice of religion versus the voice of God. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you something here. There's someone that can come there who think they know the Bible. They can come and sit by and they're from nowhere. They will think they know the dogma. They have their own dogma. They know the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. And now they will come with the mentality, I know. The spirit of religion is braggadocious. Mm -hmm. It is so conceited and it's so boastful and pride. There's too much pride in it. And that's why you find the reason why some folks don't want to go to church anymore is because there is too much of quoting scriptures and no evidence of the revelation of the scripture. So you go to church, you're sleeping. You wonder why am I going to this church? I'm, I feel like I just want to knock out. I can't wait for it to be over. Religious demons are ancient. Why do I call them religious spirits? Because these spirits know the word of God. Oh yeah. They were there with Moses. Uh -huh. <laughs> they were there with Abraham. They were there tormenting and giving Jesus a hard time oh, yeah. mm. through the Pharisees. Big mm. So they know the Torah. They know the law. Some of you folks, you might think uh, uh, the devil does not know the word of God. But if you look at Psalm 91, Satan quoted Psalm 91. It is written. 
While Jesus was being tempted in Matthew 4, what happened? Speak, Lord. The devil tempted him through scriptures and told him it is written. So there are demons that know what is what? It's written. written. And they will use scriptures to manipulate you. Mm -hmm. And that's why some of you have been a victim of churches whereby the pastor is quoting all kinds of scriptures, trying to be so, you know, uh, knowledgeable with Greek words, uh, <laughs> with dogma, with, uh, oh, in Rome, in, in, in Roman numerical, numerological, whatever. I mean, mm -hmm. big words, no life. Come on now, say it, prophet. It's religion. Yeah. Oh, in Greek, this means, oh, this, if you go deep, it takes you this. So you think that's revelation. That's philosophy. Mm. Mm. Amen. There's a difference of the philosophy of the word of God and the revelation of the word of God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. So you've gone around a philosopher and you think, oh, wow, he's a great teacher. No, you are in a class of philosophy. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, you are learning Christian mythology. <laughs> and so you sit, you're like, oh, he's a great teacher because he knows the blood moon. And after the blood moon, <laughs> this, this, this. So you think, oh, wow, I'm growing. Oh, wow, I'm growing. You, you're growing and you're puffing up your knowledge. Mm -hmm. There is no experience you're having with God. There are many. They go online and, and so-called scholars, they go and sit and now you want to listen to her or to listen to him because she sounds sophisticated. You can understand, she's a scholar. Ah, the way she talks, yes, yes, yes. But where's the power? Where's the fire? Amen. The Pharisees knew the Torah. In fact, they questioned Jesus. They said, what is the greatest commandment? That was not the Spirit of God speaking. That was a religious demon mm -mm -mm. questioning Jesus with the Ten Commandments. There are those who are like that. Yeah, yeah. And they are all over, all over the United States. You see them. And the funny part is, religious preachers and ministers, have, they've been given room a lot. People give them credit because of how they boost, they can twist the scripture upside down. A true believer does not... You go beyond knowing the word of God. You can't say, I know the word of God. A true believer experiences the word of God. Yes. Amen. If you can't experience it, leave it. Because the word of God is not a mythology, mythological book from Greece, you know, from uh, India, the Hinduism. No, that's not the word of God. It's not Egyptology, whatever. It's not Egyptian mythology. No, no, no. It's an experience. It's living. The word of God lives. Mm -hmm. Someone can come born again for two years, two years just born again. And someone is born again for how many years? Uh, 30, 20. And yet this one who's born again two years is prophesying, is speaking oracles of God, working in the, you know, I mean, functioning in a powerful way. More than this one who has known God for 20 years. The problem is human beings have the mentality of I know God. People, people, most believers, they want to know God. The Bible says the ways of God are not man's ways. Mm -mm -mm. You cannot finish. You can say I know God. How can you say you know God? You can only experience him in different dimensions. Every day he comes with a different face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible says. The masses of God are new. Every morning. morning. Every morning. The masses of God are new. Mm. Why are they new? Because we need it. Because it comes with a, something new. Mm. But religion gives you the old. Mm. And that's why mm, you say somebody will take a Bible or say, Oh, today I want to encourage you with uh, what Noah went through. Listen, that is theology. Why are you teaching me what Noah went through? What am I going through? Right. You're trying to tell me what Noah went through. Anybody can teach in fact, a Muslim man came to me. His name is Saddam. He came to me and said, he said, eh, you know, being a preacher is good. I could just quote the story of Noah, and you believers, will, you Christians will just listen. And I'll talk about how, you know, God will take you in the ark. Are you in the ark of God? Uh, uh, so you think you're being taught, as if you're in Sunday school. Mm. 
You have to experience it. If you can't touch the word of God, if it's not tangible, then it's not revelation. It has to, you have to feel it within you. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. It has to make you bubble up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Religion is a cycle of repetition. Yeah. Repetition. Where you see a lot of repetition in our church, we do things like this, we walk like this. No. That's not God. And there's many churches are so sophisticated, they're so organized, full of protocol, but no spirit. Mm -mm -mm. That's why in spirit of prophecy and revelation, we feed you with the word of God. It is beyond I. The Holy Spirit feeds you until you have an overflow. Yeah. We don't plan what we preach. We allow the Spirit of God to teach. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. If the Spirit can teach, then your spirit grows, then your spirit is teaching according to the will of God. Yes. Am I making sense? Yeah. 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 If you don't have an experience today, there's a problem. Mm. Oh, no. If you don't have an experience with God, there's a problem. Yeah. So God is saying, I want you to have an experience with me mm -hmm. today. God is saying, I want you to have what? Experience. An experience with me yes, today. Have an experience with God today. Not with religion. Religious spirits know the word of God. You might live here. You go talk to a religious person, you will just feel like you're condemning yourself. Religious spirits will always talk to you and remind you what you did wrong five days ago. Mm. That's a sign of a religious spirit. Amen. It will remind you how you didn't do it good enough. It, it teaches you how to be perfect in the flesh, not in the spirit. So some of you are living with condemnation. You are hearing a voice telling you stuff of yesterday. That's not the Holy Spirit. Mm. That's the religious spirit. It will take you back to what happened five months ago. And now you're stuck in five months ago. Mm. Do you know you can be stuck in the past because of a religious spirit? Mm. And your life will not move on because it will freeze you and get you stuck. Mm. You'll be shocked, some of you, not all of you. I'm telling you the truth. You're stuck in 1999. Mm, 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 mm. Some of you are stuck in 2010. That's what religious spirits do. Stagnances your growth. Religious spirits come with condemnation. Condemnation. Why are you condemning yourself? Mm. I'm talking to you now. Why are you feeling like you have to blame yourself of what happened yesterday? And why is it coming back to your mind? What that woman did, what that man did, what your son did to you, why is it keep, it keeps rolling in your mind? Why are you here alone? God wants you here alone. Why are you here? He wants you to grow. Yeah. Some of you need consistency, consistency to grow. Yeah. Your blessing is not far away. Your blessing is connected with your consistency with the things of God. Yeah. If the things of the world come first and the things of God come second and last, don't worry, your life will go in a circle. Mm -mm -mm. You will just live to eat, work, and one day just get ready to die. That's not the will of God. Live with a purpose. Yeah. And I want you to forgive religious spirits will attack your, your spiritual ears. Mm, mm, mm. And sometimes when religious spirits begin to attack the spiritual ears to hear God is hard. Yeah. It can even quote to hear a scripture, you think it's God talking. No, it's a demon. It's a demon. Yeah. Didn't it cost? What happened to Jesus? Throw yourself. It is written, the devil is talking. Most people have left the house of the Lord because Something told them, go turn to the book of Romans and say, yeah, I got my confirmation. Oh, oh, God is speaking to me. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a demon. Amen. But the Bible says, Satan must carry himself as an angel of? Light. An angel of? Light. An angel of? Light. Don't let the devil must get rid of himself. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let every evil mask 
lose power over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let every evil mask of religion be exposed out of your life. Amen. I want you to take time as we pray in a few minutes. We're, we're getting ready to close, but I want you to stand up on your feet. Thank you. I want you to pray. Say, so put your hand on your head. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Today. Today. Now. Now. This hour. This hour. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Every spirit. Every spirit. 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 Arrogance. Yeah. Religious spirit. Religious spirit. Familiar spirit. Familiar spirit. Familiar spirit. Familiar spirit. Lose your influence. Lose your influence. Lose your power. Lose your power. Over my life. Over my life. Over my life. Over my life, I'm set free. I'm delivered. Now, now, this hour, this moment, help me go. Before this year is over, help me cross over. Deliver. Set free. Through the blood of Jesus, I'm set free. I'm delivered. Now, this hour, this moment, now, I'm set free. I'm delivered. I'm delivered. Now, now. Satan, Satan, lose your hold. Lose, your hold. lose the strength. Lose, lose, your strength. lose your influence. Lose your influence. Now. 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 now, 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 in Jesus' name, in Jesus name. I'm, set free. I'm set free. I'm delivered. I'm delivered. My eyes are open. My, eyes are open. My ears are open. My ears are open. My ears are open. My ears are open. God. Yeah. Teach me Deeply. how to receive, how to receive, how to receive, how to receive from, you. from you, how to receive, how to receive from, you. from you today, today. now, yeah. in Jesus Christ's in name, Jesus Christ name. we pray and believe. We pray and believe. Love for Jesus. Yes. Thank you. Now, I want to declare a fast. <laughs> we are getting in a fast. When is the day today? The 11th? Mm -hmm. yeah. We are getting in a fast from the 11th to the crossover. Uh, God has put it in my heart we should get in a Daniel fast. You may see it. We are getting in a Daniel fast from this 11th of December to the, to the 31st. Amen. Yeah. Join me in prayer. We are getting in a fast. Let's fast and pray. Yeah. Apostle Miracle says some demons can't live. This kind does not live. But by prayer and uh -huh. fasting. fasting. Yeah. I want you to pray. Thank you. So if you can you can do it, do it. So we are we are praying. We are doing the whole day, you're not consuming anything, but at night, you consume beans, anything, grain, rice, beans, grain, rice, vegetables, you know. Some of you like burrito, eh? burrito? <laughs> yeah, you knock yourself out of burrito. <laughs> Have your wish. <laughs> I know some of you are already thinking of Chipotle. You're like, my goodness. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, there is also uh, the, the soy that looks like meat. If you like meat, you can't survive without meat. Praise God. We know it's not meat. Praise God. <laughs> you shake a little bit. Mm, mm. You tremble. But demons are living. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, so, burrito. Mm. Salsa. Yeah. <laughs> you like burrito, right? Yeah. <laughs> you're laughing. Uh -huh. <laughs> laugh. I said burrito, you enjoy. Yeah. Burrito, salsa, mm, whatever you can eat. Uh -huh. uh, uh, peanuts, some of you are allergic, don't try. Praise God. <laughs> you'll break out of your face, you'll swell up, you'll complain. Don't do it if you're allergic. Uh, yeah. Pistachios. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you just break from 6 o'clock. In the morning, just liquid. Check liquid, liquid, liquid. You can do juice, let it be natural, though. Amen. Juice, let it be natural. Morning, lunchtime, juicing, natural. In the evening, anything. You can eat any grain. No meat inside. Make sure there's no meat. Amen. There's no chicken. Don't hide behind turkey. Praise God. Amen. We are not in Thanksgiving. We are done. 
Yeah. Praise God. Some of you are still having an aftermath. Finish that. Hallelujah. Amen. And on the 31st, we are breaking. Mm. Yes. Yeah. The time we are, uh, uh, our, our theme is uh, 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 the year of God's voice. Amen. God's voice. God's voice. Yeah, you will hear God's voice. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Romans 8 14, as many as are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. He doesn't say as many as are led by prophets. Mm. He says as many as are led by the Spirit, Spirit of God. God. A prophet will, 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 will rebuke you, will, will counsel you, will uh, advise you, instruct you, uh, uh, will, will confirm to you what you ought to do, but will never guide you. The work of the Holy Spirit is to guide. guide. Am I making sense? Amen. Yeah. Say Jesus. Jesus. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. 